Hello and welcome to Castles and Legends. We are at Castel Aberfliniog, which believe it or not, is only two miles away from the very busy Beaumaris. Yet look how peaceful it is here. This is Anglesey's one and only Mutton Bailey Castle. It was built in the very late 11th century. However, the remains that we see here today that are visible are from the time of the Civil War when it was adapted into an artillery fort. Constructed in the early Norman period, Castel Aberfliniog consisted of a Mutton Bailey structure. The castle was commissioned by Hugh de Avranche, the first Earl of Chester. Hugh ascended to the title of Earl of Chester in 1070, teaming up with his cousin, Robert of Rivlin, in 1072, they initiated hostilities against the Welsh, seizing territories in northeast Wales. Hugh appointed Robert as his chief tenant, solidifying their control over the captured lands. One of the notable events during Hugh's reign as Earl of Chester was the capture and imprisonment of Griffith Apsinan, the King of Gwynedd, in 1081. Griffith was detained in Hugh's stronghold at Chester Castle. Anglesey's strategic position as a vital trading hub connecting Wales and Ireland likely influenced Hugh's decision to build a castle here between 1080 and 1099. The castle followed the traditional Norman Mutton Bailey design, which had been instrumental in the conquering of lands since William the Conqueror showed up in 1066. Typical of Norman fortifications of the time, the castle would have featured a timber palisade encircling the bailey or courtyard area, which housed domestic buildings and other functional structures. A large circular mound, known as a mot, would have had a wooden keep upon its summit. This keep served as the primary residence and administrative centre of the castle, offering both defensive capabilities and accommodation for the lord and his retinue. Following a lengthy period of captivity under Hugh, Griffith was released by 1093. In 1094, he launched a siege on Castella of Flinniog, leading to the deaths of 124 Norman soldiers within the garrison, and ultimately resulting in Griffith gaining control of the castle. Subsequently, Griffith successfully ousted Hugh from Anglesey entirely, reclaiming control of the island. Unfortunately, historical records on the fate of Castel Aberfliniog beyond the events of Griffith's siege are scarce. The Historia Griffith states, After burning the castle at Aberfliniog and prevailing over his enemy, Griffith was said to have disliked Norman castles and potentially completely destroyed Aberfliniog after he captured it. By the time of the English Civil War in 1642, the original castle structure had disappeared. Thomas Cheadle, who served as the constable of Beaumaris and aligned himself with the Royalist cause, repurposed Abathaniog into an artillery fort aimed at controlling the Menai Strait. Cheadle is said to have been a questionable character, with a range of occupations attributed to him including land agent and legal representative of a Bulkley family, deputy constable of Bermaris, and even pirate. By the time of his death in 1653, Cheadle had been imprisoned three times, facing charges related to treason and debt. The castle is also commonly referred to as Lady Cheadle's Fort, after Lady Anne, the wife of Cheadle's employer. Sir Richard Bulkley IV. There are many rumours suggesting that Cheadle and Anne engaged in an affair, and following Sir Richard's untimely demise under mysterious circumstances, they were accused of his murder. However, they were acquitted of the charges and went on to marry. There is limited documentation regarding Cheadle's activities during the Civil War but it appears that he switched his allegiance to the parliamentary side towards the conclusion of the conflict. 
During the 19th century, the interior of the fort was used as a garden, with the north tower repurposed as a summer house. In 2008, efforts were made to restore and preserve the site. It's completely free of charge to come and visit as well, which makes a nice change, hey? Now, there isn't a lot left here, I have to admit, but the countryside is beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed exploring with us today and discovering a bit on the history. If you have, please give us a like and subscribe if you've not already. And I'll see you very soon again, I hope, on another castle adventure. Bye for now.